हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज आशुतोष द्विवेदी फैकल्टी फ्रॉम सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट इन एस भोपाल अंडर दी सीज ग्रुप टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दी बेसिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सॉइल इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी नो अबाउट दी ओरिजन ऑफ सॉइल वी लर्न अबाउट दी फेज डायग्राम सो हेयर वी विल स्टार्ट अवर लेक्चर एंड लर्न अबाउट दी बेसिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सॉइल ओके so here it's all about the various uh, here it is the your what basic properties of soil the first property is void ratio here it is the three phase diagram we know very well that is here the soil solids are there uh, water is also there and air here we know very well that total weight of uh, soil is that is weight of water to the weight of soil solid because we consider as weight of water is approximately equal to 0 but if we talk about the volume of uh, soil so total volume of soil is equal to volume of void plus volume of soil solids and volume of so it is also may be written as like a, a volume of air plus volume of water plus volume of soil solid so these thing are also we learn about in our previous class okay so here our first property is void ratio what do you mean by void ratio here it is clearly visible to you it is a some kind of ratio so which kind of ratio so it is the ratio of volume of void to the volume of soil solid which is present in soil mass okay so here volume of void uh, to the volume of soil solids that is vv upon vs it uh, may be written as that is volume of air plus volume of water upon volume of soil solid so here if is if someone ask you what is the range of void ratio so void ratio is always greater than 0 in any case in any case so vol uh, so void ratio is always greater than zero because in any case volume of void is does not equal to zero uh, if we talk about uh, a fully saturated state so in fully saturation state volume of void is equal to volume of air if we talk about uh, dry state so dry in dry state volume of void is equal to volume of uh, what sorry i think in fully saturated uh, uh, fully saturated state volume of void is equal to volume of water in dry stage volume of void is equal to volume of air okay so in any uh, state volume of void does not equal to zero and if it is a soil so always volume of solid is present so here your void ratio is always greater than zero void ratio is generally represents in the form of like a decimal fraction like uh, here it is the value 0.5 0.6 1.8 like this okay so if an also very important relation is there like we know it is represented by small e that is volume of void to the volume of soil solid we if we add e plus 1 like e is equal to volume of void to the volume of soil solid so if we add plus 1 in both side here and 1 plus e after the rearrangement here we get what that is is equal to volume of soil solid plus volume of void upon volume of soil solid here so we know very well that is volume of solid plus volume of void is called as total volume and vs so if you we find out the value of volume of solid so it may be written as total volume 
divided by one plus water content. It is a very important relation, guys. Just directly remember this formula. That is volume of solid is equal to total volume divided by one plus void ratio. Okay. So here it's all about the idea of what your void ratio. We know very well if someone asks you like uh, which soil have more voids, uh, coarse grain soil or fine grain soil. So if there is two kind of soil is present, like first is coarse grain soil. We know very well in coarse grain soil, the soil solid particle, the size of soil solid particle is greater. And here it is our fine soil. So total volume of void in fine grain soil is more than that of your coarse grain soil because individual void is more than fine grain soil. Okay, so here it's all about the idea of void ratio. Here E is greater than always zero. Here it is the next property that is porosity. So what do you mean by porosity? It is defined as the ratio of volume of void to the total volume of soil sample. What is the difference between void ratio and porosity? Here it is the volume of solid and here it is the total volume. Okay. What is the range of void ratio? Uh, what is the range of porosity? So range of porosity is around 0 to greater than 0 and always less than 100 percent. Why it, uh, it does not equal to 0? Because for the same reason volume of void does not 0 in any case. Why it does not equal to 100 percent or 1? Because we know very well total volume of total volume of soil is always greater than uh, void ratio uh, is always greater than volume of void because we know very well that is total volume is equal to volume of void plus volume of solid. So here Vt is always greater than Vv. Because always, if it is a soil, so always soil solids are there, soil solid particles are there. So that's why it always less than 100%. Okay. We also, here we have a relation in between void ratio and porosity. Both shows the volume of void. Void ratio shows the volume of void to the volume of solid. And porosity shows volume of void to the total volume. If we find out the relation between E and N, so we know very well that is N is equal to VV, VV upon VT. And we also return as VT as a, that is VV plus volume of soil solid. So if we common VV, so what we get that is VV 1 plus Vs by VV. Vs by VV. So we know very well about it as 1 upon E. So here it may be written as that is 1 upon 1 plus 1 upon E. So after rearranging, we get relation N is equal to E upon 1 plus E. Or this equation is maybe written as in the form of porosity. If you find out the value of porosity, uh, if you find out the value of void ratio, so here it is the formula that is n upon 1 minus n. So these are also very important relations.
it is the relation between void ratio and porosity okay here it is our next property that is degree of saturation so degree of saturation is equal to total volume of void contains in water that is about volume of water to the volume of voids void uh, degree of saturation mean how much water present in the void okay so what is the range of degree of saturation so degree of saturation varies to 0 to 100 percent or 1 in dry stage in dry stage volume of void is a uh, volume of water is 0 so here degree of saturation is 0 in fully saturated state volume of void is completely filled with water so that's why s is equal to 1 or 100 percent if you present degree of saturation in terms of uh, percentage 100 so percent okay so that's why the range of degree of saturation is varies between 0 to 100 percent the next property is air content and the next property is air content what do you mean by air content it is also represented in term uh, like by ac so air content is equal to volume of air to the total volume what that is total volume of void contains air to the total volume of uh, total volume of sorry that is so total uh, your, your what total volume of void so here it is uh, uh, maybe written as va over vp air the range of air content is also in between 0 to 100 percent why because if we talk uh, about the uh, saturated state fully saturated state volume of air is around zero so that's why ac is equal to zero we talk about dry states so volume of uh, void is completely filled with air so that's why air content is about 100 percent or one okay so it's all about the idea of degree of saturation and air content there is also a wonderful relation is there that is degree of saturation plus air content is always equal to one or hundred percent in existing condition there is also some kind of void or uh, some kind of uh, some kind of water and air present in the void or it may be written as degree of saturation plus air content is equal to one let us assume in some question the value of degree of saturation is 65 percent so what is the value of air content that is 100 percent minus 65 so we get that is 35 percent or 0 0.35 okay so it's all about the idea of degree of saturation and air content here we have a another property that is water content so what do you mean by water content it is also written as moisture content that is weight of water to the weight of soil solid that is ww upon ws it generally represent in terms of percentage okay so what is the range of water content so water content is the range of water content is about what zero to what that is about hundred percent always less than hundred percent because it is not possible like yeah it is always greater than zero because it may be greater than 100 percent it is always greater than zero or equal to zero in which case water content is equal to zero in dry stage in dry stage weight of water is around zero okay it may be greater than 100 percent if you represent in terms of percentage okay 
so here it's all about the idea of water content why we are using uh, uh, why we are comparing weight of water or wide ratio in terms of soil solids because soil solids is a more stable quantity in comparison to total weight of soil it does not uh, vary or change with like uh, weight of water so that's why engine uh, if we talk about an engineering significance so water content represent in terms of soil solid is more relevant or significant okay so here in next slide in next class we will discuss about some our other properties like unit weights and uh, specific gravity so thank you so much keep learning stay tuned